In this lesson, we're going to talk about how to calculate the median, whether you have an odd set of numbers or an even set of numbers, using a formula. So let's start with this example. Let's say we have the following set of numbers, 7, 14, 5, 19, 26, 42, and 13. How can we calculate the median? in this set. Well, it really helps to arrange the numbers in ascending order. The lowest number is 5. After that, we have 7. Next is 13, and then 14, 19, 26, and 42. Now, the median is going to be the middle number in this set. Now, there's another way in which you could determine the median. Here's the formula for it. So it's going to be the value of the n plus 1 over 2 term. In this case, we have seven numbers in this set. So n is 7. So 7 plus 1 divided by 2. 7 plus 1 is 8. 8 divided by 2 is 4. So the median is going to be the value of the fourth term. In other words, the median is going to be a sub 4. And the value of the fourth term is 14. Therefore, 14 is the answer. So this formula tells you which term the median is equivalent to. Now, this formula works whenever you have an odd set of numbers, or in other words, when n is equal to an odd value. But what about when n is equal to an even value? What happens then? So let's try this example. Let's say we have the numbers 8, 21, 14, 36, 17, 2, 56, and 41. Let's calculate the median. Let me say that again. Let's calculate the median for these eight numbers. If you want to pause the video, feel free to do so uh, at this time. And try this example if you want to. By the way, for those of you who want more example problems on like how to calculate the median, the mean, the mode, and other statistical values, feel free to check out the links in the description section below. I'm going to be posting some more videos in that area. So let's begin. Let's start by listing the numbers in ascending order. So first we have 2. Next is 8. And then 14, 17, 21, 36, 41, and then 56. Now, which number is going to be the median? Which number is the middle number? When you have an even set of numbers, the median is going to be the average of the two middle numbers. So if you were to cross out the first three and the last three, these two numbers are left over in the middle. And the median is going to be the average of those two numbers. To show that using a formula, here's what you can do. So whenever n is even, in this case, n is 8, so we have an even set of numbers. The value of the median is going to be the value of the n over 2 plus the n over 2 plus 1 term divided by 2. So what this is really saying is the median is going to be the average of the value of the two middle terms. So n is 8. This is going to be 8 over 2. And then 8 over 2 plus 1 over 2. So 8 over 2 is 4. This is the value of the fourth term. 8 over 2 plus 1, that's 4 plus 1, that's 5. So what we're really doing is we're averaging the values of the fourth and the fifth term. So the median is going to be the average of the fourth term 
and the fifth term for this particular example. So this is the first term. This is the second, third, and this is the fourth, and here is the fifth term. So the value of the fourth term is 17. The value of the fifth term is 21. So we're going to average those numbers. 17 plus 21 is 38, and 38 divided by 2 is 19. So that's going to be the value of the median for this set of numbers. So that's how you can calculate it using this formula.